Good morning, everybody. Marty from Extreme Fitness, and um, I have to do this little bit of a, a rant almost, but it's really a reality check for some folks um, regarding how food, how quickly bad food can affect not just your look, um, your body fat level, and your body weight, and your hydration, and the calories that you need every day, uh, but how that translates into health. And um, Linda and I, you know, we've had a couple opportunities now to be down to the Jersey Shore. We just got back from a vacation up at wonderful Knobles in Elysburg, Pennsylvania. If you've never been there, you got to go. Um, and um, Knobles, for example, 17 years we've been going there. And um, every year we see the population getting heavier and heavier and heavier and younger and younger and younger. Um, and it's it's frightening. It's frightening. They now rent motorized sit-down scooters for forty dollars a day. First time I've ever seen that in seventeen years, and I've never seen so many of them ever. It's it's frightening. No one with bad legs or anything like that at all. Just people who are so overweight that they can no longer walk a distance. They just can't. And instead of trying or instead of doing anything about their condition, they just plant their butts in a chair, squeeze the trigger, and drive through the gravel. It's, um, it, it was unnerving to see it. And um, in, in prior years, 17 years ago, I would say, you know, the average age of folks that were there were probably in their mid-40s to mid-50s. And um, now it's in their 20s and 30s, and the 20 and 30 year olds are 200 pounds overweight. It, it's it's bizarre, you know. As much as I break stones about the Jersey Shore, this place was wor worse. But the reason that I'm doing this is because, you know, Linda and I, that's our week. It's our week to do whatever we want to do. It's the one time a year we eat pizza. And uh, we pick kind of one big meal a day and just, we don't care what it is. We're just going to eat it. I had chicken and waffles for the first time in my life, man. Had to try it. I don't think I'll have it again, but that's okay. You know, you live a little bit. So we lived a little bit for five days. Five. Then I got back on my awesome scale here. Um, this was the week before I left. This was the week that I came back. And I just wanted to share with you how one reckless meal a day affected my body in one week. So I left at 156 pounds. I came back at 158 pounds. Not bad. It's only two pounds in one week. And that's what a lot of people will say when they get on the scale. But now let's break down exactly what happened in the composition of my body. It's not just two pounds, folks. Not at all. So uh, my body fat went from 8.3% to 11.5. 8.3 11 to 11.5 in one week. So it's literally 3% body fat I put on in just one week. Um, so my fat mass, my pounds of fat mass on my body went from 13 to 18.2, man. So that 3% of body fat was 5 pounds of fat. So if I went up in five pounds of fat, how come my body weight only went up two pounds? Anyone? Anyone? Muscle mass. I lost muscle mass. My hydration went down and I gave up muscle. Um, number one, I wasn't training like I would normally train. And the minute you stop training at a specific level of intensity, your body's going to start letting muscle atrophy. It's not going to maintain something it doesn't need. So... Fat mass went from 13 pounds to 18 pounds. I went from under fat to healthy, which is still good, thank goodness, man. But I lost a whole grade of health condition by putting on that body fat in just one week. Um, my visceral fat, the type of fat that gets through your abdominal wall and gets into your core, went up a full percent from four to five. My hydration went from 67.6%, .6%, which is very high, down to 64.7. So I lost 3% of the water in my body because of salt, mostly. I drank plenty of water, but the sodium has been working against me. Um, so my body water went from 105.6 down to 102.6 pounds. 
my muscle mass went from 136.2 to 133.2. So I lost three pounds of muscle mass because of sodium intake and loss of water in the muscle cell, man. That now I've got to kind of reroute and work that poison back out of my body. Sodium is a poison, guys. Um, my basal metabolic rate. Now here's the kicker. The amount of calories I needed to eat to support my weight, my body composition was 1,842 calories a day. Today, it's 1,811 calories a day. About 50 calories less right now than I needed one week ago. So, you know, what's, what's, what's the lesson to be learned here? Um, number one. You cannot eat that way every single day. You can't eat whatever you want every single day. Even if it's just one meal a day, you can't do it because that's how your body's gonna consistently be catabolic and break down muscle mass because of poor nutrition, lack of adequate protein, and excess carbohydrates, sodium, and refined sugars while increasing body fat storage the whole way through. So even though you might be looking down on the scale and only seeing a pound or two of fluctuation, it could be pounds of muscle against pounds of body fat shifting those scales. It's very, very difficult to track on a normal scale. Um, beyond that, um, you know, the, the quality of those foods going in has a direct impact on your health. I literally feel poisoned today. Um, it's going to be a slow workout day for me. I'm going to try to get myself back in slow and steady, but I absolutely feel sluggish, tired, um, and, and just just got kind of a malaise over, over my whole body at this point. Um, so if you're eating the same amount of calories every day while your muscle mass is going down, guess what's going to happen, folks? You're going to keep gaining fat mass, man. And it's, it's, it's awful. So, you know, the bottom line here is, guys, you know, you can keep trying to justify your trips to Wawa and uh, your trips to Subway and your grilled chicken sandwich that you're picking up at Burger King or whatever it is that you assume is good for you, uh, but you really don't know what's going on there as far as the ingredients of the food is. Um, and it brings back, you know, that you can't out train a bad diet. Um, trying to pull that off because your schedule is busy or you just don't have time and all of those things that we break down um, as bad excuses to our client base because that's what they are. Um, you know, if you want to change your look, if you want to reduce body fat, if you want to get healthier, it's not rocket science. There's a method but you have to be consistent with it. You have to make a lifestyle change. You can't drink every weekend. You can't do it. You can't drink soda at all. You can't drink sweetened iced tea at all. You can't eat white bread at all. There's so many things that um, we did a little tiny bit of that created those drastic changes in my numbers in just one week. And you know, I'm gonna get that back because I know exactly what I've got to do. Um, but that's what creates the it, gigantic, almost not looking human anymore shapes that we saw when we were away. And, and it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to watch someone that has to take a posture like this with their arms behind them when they walk. Or they've got to get this method going in order to create the hip movement, to watch the struggle of trying to move normal anatomy, you know, and we say to ourselves, at what point did you give up? At what point did you say that watching everything blur in this direction because you've got to waddle to move, when did you become okay with that, you know? It's, uh, I, I just, I really don't get it. I don't get it. And of course, the saddest part of the whole story is watching, you know, a mom and a dad like that. And of course, you know, young children following that path. And, um, you know, so uh, without going down that road and turning this into another rant entirely, um, I'm going to cut it off right there and just say, look at yourselves in the mirrors, guys. 
You know, if you can't go up three or four flights of steps and still feel okay, there's something wrong. If if it's worse than that, then there's really something wrong. Um, if your midsection's over 35 inches around, there's something wrong. Um, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, gotta, gotta get healthy. Uh, being healthy is all you've got. It's the only thing in life you're really, really in charge of. Um, you can't beat the blueprint, but you can do everything you can to try and be as healthy as possible. And I hope that little story right there kind of helped you to understand a little bit more about how fast things can go bad. So, um, if you have any questions about nutrition or any of that stuff, hit me up on Facebook. You know I'm always around. And uh, if you need help trying to reroute your own physique and your level of health, then look us up at Extreme Fitness. I'd love to help you. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks.